Hello people, in this video we want to look at breakpoint chlorination. This is the terminology. Basically first understand the basics. They are adding chlorine to water. Why? To disinfect it. Do you know how much chlorine to add? Yes, via the Horox apparatus you have already seen how much chlorine you need to disinfect how many liters of water. Now that you have got that value, you want to disinfect this water. Okay, so you go on adding chlorine. So when you go on adding chlorine, what you will see is this kind of a graph. So what you see here, they are going on adding chlorine. You can see here the dose of, so the dose is what? <coughs> Parts per million they have given. You can see it here guys. Parts per million. And you understand one thing here. <coughs> Let us say, this is dirty water, okay. And this side you have clean water. So what you understand here is the water when it is clean, this is a, Proportional rise is there in free chlorine. See, this is chlorine residue. As you are adding chlorine, chlorine residue will proportionately rise because water is clean. It has nothing to do, right? This chlorine. So, this is going to be, what do you call this? Do you call this as a linear curve? Okay. Now, what happens if the water is dirty? So, this part of it is dirty, let's say. Okay. So, what is happening here? At some, there is no chlorine residue at all. Okay. This residual chlorine has two types. Residual chlorine has two types. You have combined residual chlorine. Okay. And then free residual chlorine. What is FRC? Free residual chlorine. Combined residual chlorine. This free residual chlorine is much more capable in disinfection. Okay. But this one as of now, uh, it is building up because there is uh, the water is becoming clean. Right. So free residual chlorine is going on building up as you add more and more chlorine. You understood, right? Once the water has become clean, right, and you are adding still continuing to add chlorine, the free residual chlorine goes on increasing because it has nothing to do. Anyways, initially when the water is dirty, what is happening? There is combined residual chlorine. See here, no residual chlorine. Then combined residual chlorine is going on increasing. It is combining with ammonia. Ammonia released by all these bacteria. So you have chloramine here. That's what they have said here. Chlorine, uh, chloramine. Chloramine has some disinfection ability, but not as good as this free residual chlorine. Okay. The, uh, then what happens? There is a fall in the chloramines. As you continue to add chlorine, there is a fall in the chloramines. The same chloramines that got formed here are getting destroyed here. Basically, in the exam, what have they asked you? They have asked you what is breakpoint. This is the breakpoint when further breakdown of these chloramines is not possible. This is irreducible. This part is irreducible. And after that, whatever chlorine you are adding, it is giving you free residual chlorine. Free residual chlorine means what? So you took chlorine, you have added it to water. The water is so super clean, it has nothing to do. So it will form free residual chlorine. Okay. H plus, OL, um, OCL minus all these. Okay. So here you have free residual chlorine. So if somebody asks you break point, break point chlorination, what will you write in the exam? See, first of all, there is a rise in the combined residual chlorine as you are adding chlorine. First of all, there is no rise. Then there is a rise in combined residual chlorine. Then there is a peak. Then there is a fall in the combined residual uh, chlorine. And then what happens? There is a rise in the free residual chlorine. The break point is this at which the chlorine demand has been met. And free chlorine, free residual chlorine starts appearing in the water. This is break point chlorination. So this indicates the point where all impurities, reducing compounds, organic compounds, ammonia are all oxidized. Okay. If beyond this point, chlorine is added it remains in the free state as free chlorine that is frc free residual chlorine is it clear guys very good so what are they telling here chlorine released after breakpoint chlorination is the free residual chlorine chlorine released after the breakpoint chlorination is free residual chlorine as simple as that okay then what else are they talking about here so just let's recap what they said what they said is first no residue rise in combined, there is a peak, then there is a fall in the combined, then at the break point, there is a rise in the free residual chlorine. This point is when, what is break point? When free residual chlorine starts appearing and here, when you add chlorine, continue to add chlorine, the chlorine will become free residual chlorine. Okay. So basically, how much free residual chlorine should be there, guys? Do you remember our Horox apparatus video? Do you remember how the Horox apparatus looks and uh, 
chlorine demand means what see the minimum recommended concentration of free chlorine is 0.5 milligram per liter for one hour this much free chlorine should be there after you meet the chlorine demand don't leave it see you should not leave the <clears throat> water see how much chlorine you should add you should not add chlorine to meet this demand break point you should add such that you can have free residual chlorine also in the water and how much is that 0.5 0.5 guys don't forget say 0.5 milligram per liter of water you should have free chlorine you should have this much okay so when you are calculating how much chlorine to add you should consider not just the chlorine demand you should also consider the free residual chlorine okay and then calculate did you understand guys <clears throat> see chlorine demand is met here this is chlorine demand at the break point chlorine demand has been met right so at this point all impurities reducing compounds etc ammonia everything gone so this is the chlorine demand which has been met but add a little more chlorine so that you can have 0.5 mg per liter of water you should have residual chlorine there is something called as orthotoluene arsenide test guys you remember this to check the amount of free residual chlorine and this is the chloroscope do you remember this uh, uh, apparatus this chloroscope will uh, you'll have to color match it to check look at this one read this by the color you can decide this is an ideal apparatus for estimation of residual chlorine in water okay see here they are saying that <clears throat> more yellow means more chlorine residue is there anyways guys did you understand breakpoint chlorination means what when the free residual chlorine starts appearing all the impurities are gone in um, at this point all the impurities are gone there is one statement here please listen to this breakpoint chlorination achieves the same results as super chlorination in a rational manner and therefore it can be construed as controlled super chlorination so break breakpoint chlorination is construed they think that it is nothing but it is similar to what super chlorination yeah control super chlorination now you'll ask what is super chlorination then basically in super chlorination what they do you know they add more chlorine so that they can achieve faster uh, disinfection so you are adding excess that's not good right what if you want to add specific amount so that you want to achieve that drink uh, drinkable kind of thing 0.5 mg per liter is your target you don't want more than that right so you can uh, do break point chlorination so i think the super chlorination they do for heavily polluted water or something let's take a recap guys in this video we wanted to look at what break point uh, chlorination is basically chlorine is added to disinfect water so here you are adding chlorine you can see and here this is the residual chlorine basically initially there is no residual chlorine after some time there is a rise in the combined residual chlorine then there is a peak achieved then there is a fall in this uh, combined residual chlorine F further it is irreducible at the break point what happens all impurities are gone and free residual chlorine starts appearing okay so this break point is the uh, point where all impurities are gone and free residual chlorine starts appearing okay that's it so what and all are you seeing in this curve same thing you look at this first initially it is flat right then there is a rise in the combined residual chlorine that is chloramine then there is a peak which coincides with oxidation of all organic matters then there is a fall in the combined residual chlorine so there is destruction of this chloramine right and then uh, there is uh, at the break point what happens the chlorine demand is met very important the chlorine demand is met at the break point right and then free uh, residual chlorine starts appearing this free residual chlorine is better than the combined residual chlorine it has better disinfection property right and uh, the frc free residual chlorine should be how much 0.5 this is what we want to achieve we want to achieve 0.5 mg per liter for at least 1 hour so this is the uh, desirable free residual chlorine okay so according to that you should uh, put uh, chlorine so how would you define the uh, break point guys it is the uh, point where the chlorine demand is met free residual chlorine starts appearing this is what you can say that is the definition of break point all impurities are destroyed contact period 
is the amount of uh, time you uh, the chlorine requires to disinfect the water okay it is usually about 1 hour okay so around uh, 0.5 milligram per liter of free chlorine should be there at least for 1 hour so that free residual chlorine has a time limit also <clears throat> at least for 1 hour this much free residual chlorine should be there okay that that is the way you disinfect it okay so uh, this breakpoint chlorination is nothing but controlled super chlorination okay super chlorination is where you add excess chlorine for the uh, so that you can achieve it faster kind of a thing but breakpoint chlorination is better it is a controlled way of super chlorination okay so that's it for now in this video on breakpoint chlorination guys bye bye